Let's do some news! My name is Mike B, aka Phony. Today's date is April 16th, 2021. Yesterday was not tax day. It was extended until May 15th or 17th or something like that. So don't freak out. I still haven't done mine. And Jen's going to kill me because of that. So first off, welcome chat. I know it's been a couple weeks, but sometimes news just sucks. Sometimes news just sucks. So that's why if you know if there's an episode, you know that means there's some news. There's some shit happening. There's some stuff that's fucking happening. And today there's stuff happening. <laughs> like Doge. <laughs> No, we'll leave that alone. We'll leave that alone. All right. I I traded I traded nineteen nineteen dollars in bits <laughs> in exchange to spend nine hundred eighty seven dollars of my own money on Doge while it's at its peak. Smart investment. Thank you so much for that chat. Uh, well, today is National Horny Day, which is a national day of horniness. Where it's okay to, you know, talk about things that make you horny. And you don't get bonked. One day, a year, where you could just not get bonked for being horny. I think I think uh, 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 maybe Valentine's Day kind of falls in that. And maybe like New Year's Eve after like 9 p.m. It's kind of like, hey, you know, it's party. It's New Year's Eve. Hey, if I can let him be horny on the internet. It's fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. No horny jail today. That's right. No horny, 69 bitties. It's like, so, so like softcore the purge. Twitter's always horny. Twitter's always horny. Yeah, they, they, they don't, uh, they don't let up. Well, to kick things off, are you guys, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the anal battle space time interstice? So... Fantasy Star Online 2 had a <laughs> has a new event coming. It's a new ultimate quest called Final Battle Space Time Interstice. The kerning is a bit kind of kind of tight here. It's kind of leaning a little bit. Definitely says anal battle. The internet being what they are. Horny all the time was they were not gonna let that down, let that go. Somebody would try to say, "Hey, in the future, be careful." I would be careful. I'd be careful with the, uh, you know, the it looks awkward enough to turn it into one big internet joke for people to laugh at. Who would do such a thing? Who would do such a thing? Oh, final battle! Final battle! <laughs> Everyone, oh look at this! Just, just fix it. Just fix it. Just attach it right there. It's totally fine. Just, yeah, just, just something to the final battle. Anal battle. <laughs> Clunkers, lo Clunkers loves. Oh yeah, this is one of Clunkers favorite games. The and I think he likes PSO2 as well. But <laughs> if you go to their site, if you go to their site, it's it's it says final battle. There's no graphic. They've cleaned it up. The graphic is not there. It's uh, you know, they kept it relatively clean. So, you know, they, they, I think they may it, either it wasn't there because it was a promotional piece or it was there, they removed it. All I know is that they left the tweet up, which was smart because it got oh fuck, a lot of quote tweets. Everybody <laughs> Look at this one to say it says anal battle for sure do you really keep things clean and regret hearts to mm, remember what they do uh, <laughs> oh my god please tell me i'm reading that right yes you're reading this right it definitely says it definitely says anal battle yeah, yeah it's 100 percent um so yeah if you're april 14th which was two days ago so if you're a pso2 player you can get in there and you can play anal battle along with everybody else have a good time clunk is probably playing that right now actually i'm sure he probably has um anti battle comes to mind exactly exactly so so this week was off to a good start that was april 12th it was like monday or something like that so it's like okay cool this is how the week's gonna start it's pretty good it's pretty good ask for ask for consent god damn please <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> please god do oh jesus um and Naturally, whenever Resident Evil Village is brought up, we get to have a nice, nice discussion about the tall lady in it. They released a new trailer. Capcom is very, very cognizant of what they're doing. Absolutely. They know that the internet wants more of Lady D. 
they know they know and some of the clips some of the stuff they gave us was um well i think it's pretty intentional i'm just gonna play this back i don't want you guys to miss this right so i'm gonna play it back in, in like you know in like a quarter speed so that way we can understand exactly what they're doing to us here all right all right let's see how special you are oh Yeah, that seems pretty obvious to me, personally. <laughs> this as a thumbnail, I saw that somebody tweeted this shit. And I was just like, this is not, this is not a mistake. This is not a mistake. I was on the fence instant by now. <laughs> That's where we could see them. <laughs> they know what Twitter wants. Oh man. Oh man. And this, I mean, there's plenty of, there's plenty of new, new stuff and new, new, uh, <laughs> She's tasting you like wine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of new you know, content in this trailer. They've taken everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hadn't made it that far of the trailer. I stopped at that one part. I was like, this is it. <laughs> Red says he doesn't like her. Oh, get out of here. Well, the game does look pretty good. I have no interest in playing the game, but honestly, she's pretty hot. I might go ahead and play it just for that. Uh, yeah, a nice, exactly nice. A game looks pretty good though, so you know, I'll check it out if you're interested, or if you just uh, are interested in the, the the peripheral content, you can uh, just follow just, just follow Lady Demiscu Demicrest Demistrek Lady D uh, on uh, on Twitter the hashtag, and you'll probably get plenty of content that way. So. Is it still anal battle? Mm, there is a scene here too that was also, uh, let me see if I can find it, where she's walking out of the room. I'm not going to find it. Um, oh man, I wish I would have grabbed it. Uh, and it's like a great shot of her, of her rear, right? Fantastic. Just, just A plus, A plus vampire butt, right? And somebody photoshopped the um, uh, uh, Jurassic Park the scientist dude or whatever, the main guy in Jurassic Park, like, you know, he's like leaning on like the giant, you know, Stegosaurus or whatever, right? Right on her butt. It was so perfect. <sighs> yeah, the Resident Evil 2 uh, remake, or Resident Evil 2 remake, and uh, the RE3 make and RE7, and really need to play them up till Village. Does the story, it's not a continuous story, right? Like, there's different, it's, it's, like the, it's like Final Fantasy, where they have like kind of different sets of characters, sometimes recurring characters, but for the most part, it's like different um different people right i've only really ever played like one game it wasn't only for that long this resident evil just doesn't doesn't quite do it for me but now but now maybe uh it is continuous same world wow same world huh wow mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oof. <laughs> Woo. chills uh <laughs> well if you're looking, if you're looking for some Lady D Rule Thirty, uh, Rule Thirty Four, you're not gonna find any. Um, you're not gonna find any on uh, any dedicated, not safe for work servers on Discord because, well, not on iOS anyways, because they are removing that function out or that availability now. So if you, if you are an iOS user. If you work for Tim Apple, if you invest in Tim Apple, then you also invest in their rules and regulations for access to uh, adult content, which typically uh, is a little extreme at times because I guess there's no other way to like, filter out this kind of content for, uh, for for kids to get access to because they can pick up mommy's phone and they always know mommy's like number because you know mommy's always giving them the phone to play to shut up kid what's your code mommy you know what it is it's one two three four five six right she put punch in this so they know the codes so they might go to discord and like go log into some some not safe for work discord and then they might see it i mean there's a lot of steps involved there you know a lot of them could be probably managed by parenting a little bit but you know we don't do that kind of stuff anymore so uh, they say, hey, if they go into a Discord for not safe for work, then uh, they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I want an iPad so I can talk to mom, etc. But that's it. Uh, and then pull up the nudes. Face. <laughs> uh, what is parenting? Yeah. Hey, if they go. Uh, Apple's prudish. Apple's prudish. Free the nipple. Yeah, it's. um. 
This is obviously a, a recent change. Actually, somebody somebody actually grabbed the uh, a couple screenshots of this in action. So if you are following a not safe for work dedicated Discord, you're gonna see this when you try to check it on iOS. All right. Um. So are you saying parent doesn't just leave the kid in front of the TV? Oh, now it's leave the kid with the phone. Now leave the kid. Well, I mean, for us, it's well, just let him run free on the internet. And just hope he doesn't run into anything. And so far, that's worked out pretty well. <laughs> Although yesterday when he came in and he asked if he could download Terraria mods off of the Terraria official workshop, right? Like through through Steam, I was like, yeah, kid, you can download anything you want. And then of course, chat was just like, whoa, what about nude mods? And I go look it up and sure enough, there's some big titty medics and shit like that in there where they run and there's stuff's like jiggling all over the place, smacking on the face, back issues and shit. Oh man, yeah, so wasn't really, wasn't really thinking ahead on that. But he has to search for it. And when he searches for it, then I'll be like, oh, my boy's growing up. Son, you can't do that. <laughs> well, r slash uh, yif needs to be bombed into hell where it came from. Man, some people would disagree. Come on, r slash yif. Come on. Martha, you need, to, you need to expand. You need to expand your horny horizons. You don't know what you're missing out on. You never wanted to dress up in a 100-pound fur suit and then, <laughs> then try to bang someone else. <laughs> while wearing <laughs> that suit come on man come on you never want to do this come on why not Jeez. it's like a masquerade you know the days used to wear the mask and everything like that it's like that but just uh oh you guys looked it up oh shit don't look it up oh my god okay listen listen it's 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 furries banging all right it's called yiffing you guys don't watch csi what the fuck i learned that shit from csi like 20 years ago where have you guys been jeez Jeez! <laughs> Don't use Google on National Horror Day. What's wrong with you? Yeah, does Google have a special, like, Google logo thing <laughs> for National Horror Day? It's just a bunch of dicks. Uh, CSI had an episode on Second Life. They, they did! CSI had an episode on everything, man. CSI was on top of that shit. Like, for reals, they had, an, they, had, they had an episode on everything. They did have an episode on Second Life. Isn't that crazy? So Mike equals furry. No, man, we CSI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just caused Twitch to look that shit up. What have you done? I'm sorry. It's no special Google logo. Sad. What? Jeez. <sighs> well, CSI had so many episodes. <laughs> it had to have an episode on everything. It's true. NCI has had an episode for LARPers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And now CSI is coming back with a new show. And now they're bringing back some of the original cast. Isn't that crazy? I don't know if I'm prepared. I don't know if I'm prepared to see all these guys old now. Seriously. I don't think I can handle that. So, what exactly are they banning? All right, let's get, let's get back on subject. Fucking hornies. Hornies? All you hornies. All right, so they are banning. We're not banning. Blocking, I should say. Uh, they are blocking servers that... Uh, primarily provide not safe for work content um and a message will be delivered to the uh to the discord owner basically stating such your your discord is not going to be viewable now if you have a uh a, a not safe for work channel yeah. hey declan oh. i'm trying to change the kill bytes of the chaos storm animation uh huh. It was one hundred and one kilobytes. Uh huh. And how can I change it again? Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. Uh, I have to look at. I have to look at it later, buddy. Right in the middle of doing my news. Yeah. Yes. How can I Come change here. You can't. You kilobytes is how big the file is. So the more stuff that's inside of the file makes it means how big, how many kilobytes it is. I just want to change it to make it feel much better well the kilobytes is not going to change it's not going to impact whatever it is that you're doing right it's not the size of the file it's what the file has inside of it okay oh but I just <laughs> listen you gotta go okay i'm right in my show give me a kiss but I just... i'll be done soon declan i'll be done soon okay just want, you I have just to... to change the megabytes okay we'll have to talk about it later okay I promise. <sighs> yeah, it's thanks, thanks, Celestis. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so 
back on track. It's not the, what was I talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you have a, I'm so glad you waited at least a couple seconds coming. Uh, <laughs> it'll challenge. God damn it. It's the worst, the, what the worst day, National Horny Day featured Declan's here. Look, hey, Declan. <laughs> Uh, so if you have a not safe for work channel on your discord as long as it is not the uh, uh the primary source of content on your in your discord um then you're fine no users between the ages of 13 and 17 uh because 13 is the, the, the that's the youngest you're supposed to be able to have a uh, have a, a discord accounts so they're not excluding everybody under the age. You're just not supposed to have an account if you're under the age of 13. Uh, so nobody under the age of 13 to 17 would be able to uh, join those servers. And if you are over 18, you'd have to actually opt in. You have to opt in in order to view the content. So Apple has always been very strict about this stuff. Tumblr went through an entire content change, which effectively killed Tumblr um, because they were at risk of losing their access to the App Store, to the Apple App Store. Um, <clears throat> there are other there are other apps that get by because they have these opt-in privileges and such and such. Um, and maybe if Tumblr decided to do like an opt-in thing instead of just nuking all of their not safe for work content, they probably would still be around today. But who knows? Um, so only went to public. That's right. Point Tumblr no more. It's done. So glad my daughter's 31. Don't have to sweat that stuff. <laughs> I hope I hope so, man. 31. Jeez. <laughs> the only reason who Tumblr was porn. Yeah, there you go. See? Uh, was I the only one waiting for it's not the size of the file, it's how you use it? Yeah, I that, yeah, I god damn it. <laughs> I can't even cut that out of the episode. I gotta leave that in, damn it. Uh so. So your Paul, your porn discords are pretty much no more if you're on iOS. Um no word so far on on uh, on Android. Let me see. Yeah, nothing on Android. No mention of Android whatsoever. So I guess this is pretty much just, uh, let me see, iOS. Yeah, just iOS. Just iOS. So fucking Android users and your porn. Damn it. Dang it. Ugh. Well, people look at porn on their phones. Uh, what? Red? What the? Red? What the? What the? What the? What? What this? For reals? What do you think? What? Crazy. <sighs> so when did Apple hit Reddit with this too? Man. Never. You know, this is this is an Apple thing. Like they're they're blocking it. They're not blocking it because, you know, they're looking out for their users on iOS. They're blocking it because Apple told them, wait, look, we're probably gonna yank you from the store unless you go ahead and block this kind of stuff from uh from our users. That's all. That's all. So, porn is why we have. That's right. I'm home all day. What do you mean? Like, don't you like laying in bed? You're laying in bed. You just woke up. You're just like, I'm looking at some porn or something. I'm breaking out of bed. Come on, man. What? What? You got to try it sometime. You got to try it. Look how big the screen is. Look how big the screen is. You just put it sideways. It's like a fucking movie theater. It's like a movie theater. It's crazy. What the heck? Crazy. A stereo and shit. The fuck? The phone has a four inch screen. It's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> your phone is four and you go on the go, I know. Oh, why are you still in bed? It's perfect. Anyways. Uh, to continue the theme of National Horny Day. I think it's about time we talk about these uh these uh uh what, tub girls? No, that's already taken. Uh um uh Hot tub streamers, hot tub time, hot tub, hot tub streamers. So I won't talk about how many there are or how uh, you can sometimes could barely go through just chatting without just being bombarded with just tons and tons and tons. Don't look that up, by the way, tub girl, please. I was just a joke. Um, pool people. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, we're not going to talk about necessarily the uh, quantity of them too late. Oh, my God. You fucking guys. I can't trust you. Too quick. You got, you got a Google on the other window right there. Every time Mike Lee says something, we'll look it up real quick. What is up now? No. So lately, because it's spring break just about everywhere, we've been getting tons and tons of streams that look pretty much like this, right? This is this is live right now, by the way. Um, so this this is about this is about 
Nikki, you're so freaking. This is about what we've seen, right? Lots and, lots and lots and lots, especially starting last week. There's quite a few of them, you know? I, know. I play a lot of, I play, I'm a big gamer in Call of Duty. Check it out. Check it and out. If you haven't heard of it, if you haven't heard of Call of Duty, sports. definitely recommend. Highly recommend. That's a beach though. I mean, it's it's, it's summer, man. It's a summer. This is a, now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna rag on these. <laughs> I'm not trying to rag on some of these folks or anything, right? For what they want to do. You know, they want to make this kind of content as long as it's in the guidelines, all that stuff. That's fine. I mean, this is perfectly fine, right? I don't care. But what some folks have done. Uh, ha they have, um, they have, uh, 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 pushed the limits of what they're allowed to do. Like a lot. So, <clears throat> at some point in time, somebody linked me, um, uh, Indie Fox. Indie Fox is a, is a streamer. She's been a streamer for about four, four years, 2017. And she usually streams, like, well, we go to our channel and see, actually. Let me see. I'm going to just close that window. Cool. Any Fox. We'll go, uh, but no, not, not only fans. We won't hear any Fox videos. Okay, cool. Mm, boop, 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 boop. Boom. So, Any Fox is not streaming right now? No. So, typically, she streams content like this, right? Just playing guitar. No big deal. Totally fine. Um, <clears throat> but she is definitely been partaking in a lot of this inflatable hot tub fiasco that's been going on where you basically buy an inflatable hot tub and you guys have probably seen the memes and everything and then you just stream from this inflatable hot tub got lights and shit all over the place it's actually a pretty cool setup it's actually a pretty cool setup um visually lots of colors lots of like visual visual eye candy and stuff like that like aside from the person that's in it she has a rabbit written on her forehead i totally missed that did she write more as, as this thing goes on no okay um and if you look at her feed it's predominantly just like just just most mostly we'll go to past broadcasts oh Fucking con. Oh, am I not a sub anymore? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was gifted a sub. I was gifted a sub. And it, uh, uh, of course, it gave me access to all of her, you know, all of her past feeds. This, here we go. I, I, I was, this didn't show up for me earlier. So this is pretty much what these streams typically look like. Now, again, I don't care. I don't care. Gifted. Bitch, I was gifted. It even says continue sub. That means I didn't pay for it. You know, come on. Anyways, so. This is typically the kind of content she does, right? Or like intermix with some of the, you know, playing, playing guitar and all that stuff. And I'm not picking on her because she's not the only one that does this. But because I was subbed, I got an email from her because you can message all of your subs, right? And it said, this is mine. This is mine, okay? From my fucking email. And it says, hey fam, I was just letting you know, for those of you who aren't aware, I have a very, very hot stuff, not seen on Twitch. <laughs> squirt, squirt, squirt emoji. Just click the link to find out. Unlock emoji, link tree for future discount alerts and hot photos direct to your inbox. Sign up to my mailing page. Ooh. Okay, so I went to the link tree. I was like, "Wow, this, this seems like it's trying to give me, trying to advertise me going to uh, OnlyFans." And sure enough, the link tree goes right to an OnlyFans, paid OnlyFans. It jiggles. Look at it jiggles when you refresh. Boop, boop, boop. Woo, 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 woo. Now, if you want to see anything else jiggle, you got to go ahead and pay. Okay, it's fifteen dollars a month. All right, I checked. She has a free one. She has a free one, but um, there's no jiggling there. So, uh, I never got an email for making me. He does. I know. I, do, I did. I, I've never mailed you guys anything, man. I thought that was spam, but I might as well go ahead and do it and send my freaking OnlyFans. I don't even like talking about it on here. Because I feel like if I even talk about the fact that I have an OnlyFans, I'm going to get banned. Meanwhile, we're sending out DMs. Now, to be fair, to be fair, she was banned. She was banned for this. So that email came on uh, April 4th, 6.14 a.m. First thing in the morning. Wake up. I'm just like, oh, what's this? Something from Twitch. What is this? Oh, it's a link to OnlyFans. Fucking sweet. Now, I just want to remind you guys. She's not She's not marked. She's partnered, but she's not marked as mature. She's not mature, mature content. Okay? So she got a ban. 
right? Courtesy of uh, streamer bans. We know this, right? She got a ban. She was banned for three days. If this ban happened, I mean, it's April 9th, so April 6th. So, of course, she got banned. I'm guessing, I'm guessing for that DM that she sent to everybody. Um, hey, guys, have this Twitter reported. For reals. See, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I take pictures of titties and it's on my freaking OnlyFans and on my AK Might Be Photo Twitter. There's titties there. Can I say it? I don't even know. Damn it, people. Three day ban. Give me a three day ban. Sign, sign up to my fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> so, this is her fourth ban. I don't know what she did prior. But I mean, this is prior. She had a three day ban. Probably another message or something like that. I wasn't subbed at this time. So, maybe that's the case. Uh, here's another one one day ban. Okay. One day. 48 minutes. 48 minutes. One day, 48 minutes. And then, of course. Her first one, her first ban. This is all four of these bans happened to January 28th. Now, again, I don't want to pick on this person because I know she's trying to make money or something. She lives in Santa Monica, according to her, according to her fucking OnlyFans or whatever. Uh, and so it's like, you know, it's expensive. California's expensive. Sometimes you got to hustle. And sometimes hustling means breaking the rules. But I think, I think that it's time for Twitch to fucking do something about people that blatantly abuse this system. Now, allegedly, allegedly, and I say this because I'm not subscribed to, to Amaranth, but allegedly Am Amaranth did the same thing. Same thing. Amaranth has sent you a message on Twitch. Hey, haven't done this before yesterday. I said the hottest picks. Da -da -da -da. Don't miss it. Da -da -da -da. Just special links super fun links so apparently amaranth's been doing this doing this constant look at this ever look at friday two on friday two on saturday two on sunday two whatever day this is taken probably monday so she sends two messages a day i mean she's hustling she's hustling guys she's hustling she's making this money here and also this person also had a link but again this is just on nine days ago like this is clearly because I, I took the screenshot from my own fucking email right this is somebody else's email um so obviously this is a this is something that's happening uh, you know to more than one person to, to uh, from more than one uh streamer um they're using this they're using the um platform to basically generate revenue through their only fans and all that stuff if they make revenue through twitch that's awesome because there's no penalty there's no penalty to doing it on twitch Twitch is just kind of like, oh, boom, fucking kid gloves. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can't really send links to fucking pornography to, you know, all of our users because you're not marked as mature. Yes, you're kind of sending pornography to underage people, which is kind of a big problem in some countries. Yeah, so we got to let you go for three days. But when you come back, we're going to have a big party. Woo! have a big party wow baby we're gonna jump with that pool we're gonna generate some more revenue it's gonna be awesome <sighs> because that's the way it fucking works that's the way it fucking works it's ridiculous it's again i don't give a shit if they're making hot tub streams i wish i wish y'all would watch me in a hot tub i gotta sit there and turn into a fucking prune and make money no it doesn't work that way but i'm not gonna send you guys dms with links to my only fans that's crossing a line. I know this. <laughs> I know this. Did you miss Mike Me's hot tub stream? No. Uh, they get banned taking vacation. Yeah. They just they they just they get banned. It's like, so what? They come back bigger than ever. They might make it to the top of LSF, which Amaranth's story did make it to the top of LSF, and then everyone's kind of like, oh these fucking coomers are just like, oh man, let me go see what's there. Nothing's there. Alright? I've looked. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's there. It's not worth it. It's not worth the money. Oh, fuck. But you're old and wise. This is a young. This is a young, young, young and stupid. Is what it is. Young is just damn. Just no, they're not. Are you kidding me? These women are fucking smart. These women are fucking smart and pretty and pretty too. Right? They got the combo. Deadly. Deadly. They work. They work. They're working Twitch. They're working the Twitch mod team, the admin team. I mean, shit. We had all those jokes. About uh, Hassan, but Hassan getting sent news to in order to let people off their bands earlier or whatever, right? It was a bunch of jokes, and it turns out it was true. It turns out we find we find out last year it was fucking true because he's shown the news to other people. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> uh, you don't have to remember, like. 
No way. What? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hassan, man. He's a partner, partner, uh, like a manager, partner manager or whatever. Link to the story. Oh, fucking Hassan, partner manager, Twitch nudes. It was like last year. <laughs> I, th I thought we talked about it on news. Maybe we didn't. What's the sub goal for Mike? I might be hostage, man. No, not Hassan. Yeah, not Hassan Abi. Um, not Hassan Abi. It was uh, uh, Hassan. His name is Hassan. Oh my god, you fucking guys. Y'all gotta get with the news. All right. Let me see. Hassan nudes. Um, um, uh, uh Twitch. Uh, 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 me too. I think it was something like that. Let me see. Uh, here we go. June twenty sixth, twenty twenty. Uh, Twitch executive Hassan Bakari accused of sexual assault as platform begins pl uh, permit banning alleged abusers. So he was accused. The accusation was that he was that he was showing everybody his pictures and sh pictures that he got from people and all that stuff. And uh, this is from yeah, I'm done being signed. It was another Me Too. It was a TL TLDR. It was a freaking twit longer. Um, and yeah, it was uh, it was a thing. So <sighs> that one month subathon, boy Ludwig. <laughs> My friend sent me my friend sent me that when I was first getting kicked off. He's like, dude, this guy's gonna be streaming for the rest of his life. And I was like, Lud I didn't heard of the guy. I was like, Ludwig, is is, is he a big fan of uh is he like a big fan of the Koopa kids or something like that? And he says, uh, you mean like <laughs> like uh, Yeah, anyways, so um Beethoven just didn't cross my mind for some reason. The Koopa kids is the first thing that crossed my mind. So, anyways, uh so yeah, it, it's there needs to be something done. Like it's it's getting pretty pretty stupid that you can get in trouble for petitioning nude content to minors. Um, because again, her stuff set up for it's mature. It says mature. And I think if you're between the age of 13 and 17, you can you try to click on a link that goes to mature content, it probably doesn't let you in. I'm guessing. Because that would be a smart way to do it. And since it's not, then she could just send that she, she could send it to wherever she wants. <sighs> Something needs to fucking change. Uh, I've already been on OnlyFans, but now that I have to go to find Mike, he takes my money on every other platform. You know what I love about OnlyFans? I actually hate this part. Is that I, I have to describe it in, in in graphic detail sometimes what happens in videos, and sometimes I feel like I'm I'm writing I'm writing like softcore fiction. <laughs> because the only way people are gonna buy the videos is if I describe exactly what's happening in the video, and it's just like, oh man, it's like a romance novel. Some of the shit that they send out, it's ridiculous. And I'll joke about it in the damn description, like, listen, listen, this is gonna sound pretty ridiculous coming from me, but she slides out of her mesh bodysuit. You get a good view of her perky breasts as she runs her hands down over her nipples. Right? It's, it's like, please buy. <laughs> Hire a porn right. You need to storyboard it. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you get your wife to, to review the descriptions? I should, huh? Is this part going on? <laughs> Is this part going on YouTube? No, no, you can't. You can't. Only if you're over 18. No, don't look at anything. Oh, stop, stop, stop. We're getting in trouble. <laughs> We're not talking about me, okay? We're talking. We're talking about this. We're talking about the jiggle, okay? We're talking about the jiggle, 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 jiggle. All right. So yeah, something needs to be done here, man, because it's fucking stupid. Three day ban. Three day ban. Come on back. It's totally cool. Totally chill. Don't worry. We we'll have a big old party. You come back. We we'll jump in the hot tub. Ooh. Wait till you see what she does with the He-Man figure. God. Ah. Your SM ASMR story reading. You fucking guy. So. Moving on. From. The horny stuff. Alright. We've had enough. We've had enough. I think crime's on the way down. I think the. the I think the. Um, the Viagra should be wearing off by now. Right. We're about that time. I think. So. Should be kind of coming down from that um in other nudes <laughs> kevin scholar thank you so this is kind of content i subscribe for pot twice already mm, 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 mm. so in light of the ongoing health concerns penny read pop and penny arcade will not be holding pax east this year so if you're looking forward to going to pax east uh it's not happening this year um, no surprise to anyone. This is not, this is not a shocker. No one just like, oh, it was supposed to happen in like July or something. It was not going to happen too close. We're getting there. We're getting there, but we're not 
quite there. They do say that they're cautiously optimistic uh, that West and Unplugged will proceed in person uh, September 3rd through 6th and December 12th, 10th through 12th. Which one was it? One of them is trying to do it. Um, is it Comic-Con? Over is a Comic Con trying to do it over Thanksgiving. Someone's trying to have a uh, uh, an event over Thanksgiving. Uh, th there have been uh, rumors that they're canceling that as well. It was Comic Con okay? There's rumors that they were going to cancel that as well, but they uh, they have not confirmed that. So probably look forward to that being canceled as well. Maybe it's tough right now. I mean, like Thanksgiving weekend is kind of that's that's pretty far away, and a lot of people are getting vaccinated. So I'm vaccinated though. I know so many of you guys are vaccinated. I'm vaccinated now. I got my last shot earlier this week. I was totally fine. Um, Jen, meanwhile, was miserable. Although I did find out my mom, my mom got her second shot, and she feels totally fine too. So I wonder if it's a genetic. I wonder if it was genetic. I had another theory on Twitter. Some scientists like that. Um, so yeah, it, it's. Kind of close for September, maybe. But December, we should... Come on, man. Mexican jeans are strong. That's right. That's right. <sighs> Thank you, Hanson. Um, no conventions are happening this summer. But people are going to be going out like crazy this summer. Uh, last last news, we talked a little bit about how the pandemic was over, right? Because like so many people are going out and doing stuff. Uh, it's just going to get better. I don't want to say worse, right? Uh, it's going to get better uh, because more and more people are getting vaccinated. People are going to start going out. Um, we don't know if everybody is going to be on board with vaccinations, but it won't matter if we get enough people that are vaccinated. And as long as these fucking like, oh, like whatever these, these double mutations from, you know, from India and like the, the B1 from the UK and something else from South Africa and all this, whatever else we have homegrown here, that's mutating all over the place. Like, even if we, even if we have a deadlier version, that's like killing people left and right, people aren't going to care. Like they're just like, I got my vaccine. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go out. Just have a good time. It's summertime. Right now, the biggest issue with conventions is the hotels wanting events to happen, but the con organizers don't feel safe to. They won't get to the contracts released, so these cons are either forced to happen when it's unsafe, or the con organizers will go bankrupt from paying the cancellation fee. That's that's ridiculous, man. The cancellation fee doesn't happen necessarily. I mean, come on. This, this should be a thing. Nice newsletter. There should be some kind of leniency when it comes to that kind of stuff. Took the shot and had to work the same day. Gosh! Just thinking about everyone getting sick from the con plague without COVID getting a thing. Ugh. Yeah, they're probably going to wear masks and all that stuff, but still. Um, you know, what, I, I, what I've read that I thought was pretty interesting was that people are like, I might continue to wearing masks because not only did I not catch the flu this year because no one got the flu this year, but uh, my allergies have been so much better. Like, just from wearing a mask. And I was just like, oh, I didn't think about that. That there are peripheral things. Because I'm someone that has allergies too, right? Um, but the, the, I can think about that. There's like these peripheral benefits to just wearing a mask, right? It's like, yeah, you wear a mask. Especially if you're one of those people who don't think a mask, wearing a mask is a big deal. <laughs> like, and you have severe allergies. Like, maybe allergy season, just strap one on. Just boop, boop, boop. And you might you might fare a little better, right? Um Everyone gets po uh, pox, uh, Pax Plague, so it, it being canned is not such a big deal for me. My allergies have not changed. Oh, you're sick as hell right now. Oh, Sprockety. Uh, Sub-Zero Scorpion cosplay. There will always be a variant, and politicians will continue to be stupid. Yeah. But if you don't use glasses, mask is not a thing to worry about. Well, you could, there's like things you could put, it's the bridge of your nose is the problem with most of these masks. You breathe and it shoots right out the bridge of your nose, especially if you're someone like me who has like a pointy, pointy nose like this. I don't think Jen has that problem because she, her bridge is like a little, little flat. She's kind of flat, you know, so she doesn't really have that problem, I don't think. But uh, for me, mm, um, glasses are a problem. Well, I don't know, man, like get a whole fucking face mask or some shit. Jeez. Uh, it's easy to work around the fogging. Well, there you go. Um, even the vaccines, I think no conventions till 2022 is a smart play for general safety. Yeah, it, we're, we're, again, we're on the cusp right now. You know, like December, like December, December is like, like that's pretty far away. I feel like that's a doable thing. I feel like that is honestly a doable thing for, you know, for us. Um, by us, I mean US us. So, 
maybe and other countries though i don't know what what how things are faring in other countries i kind of stopped following all that i know in india things are like going haywire i think in the uk like your infection rates like super down because they basically just slapped everybody with the first uh with the first shot and then like and then and then they were like okay everyone got the first shot let's hope we get more for the second shot or something <laughs> like i just heard rumors about how this shit's working um and, and there's other countries too that are you know having their own battles and all that shit mexico's getting hit hard i've heard uh i've heard that um uh, there's issues in canada as well so yeah shit's crazy um if i had money i'd get the uh, the cool looking razor mass prototype i know i can't wait i can't wait i would totally get that it's stupid so stupid it's so stupid, but it looks so awesome. And it's got a little microphone speakers and stuff like that. So you could talk to people like they're at a drive through and everything. Come on, man. Come on, man. UK is going okay, but not everyone has access to the first shot yet still. But a lot of them have been given out, right? Like, would you say that they've kind of, they've improved dramatically over where they were like in pain, uh, like, you know, three months ago or something in terms of like dishing or a month ago? Road to number 14 in most cases are younger people. The younger people thing is weird. Because, well, scary, I should say, because they say that there's another, the B1 or whatever, that um, that actually infects younger folks. But uh, it's 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 tough to say, because when they say, like, you know, uh, younger folks, hospital hospitalizations are up 50%. It's like, it's up 50% from basically nothing, you know? So I would wait to some real data that comes out on, uh, on that, because, you know, the headlines are going to spin these things. In whichever way is going to get them to clicks, and sometimes it's not in the uh, uh, in the uh, in a way that's going to be accurate to how it applies to like daily life and such. You know, it's like oh yeah, they're up two hundred percent. It's like bitch, we had like four people in the hospital that were under the age twenty five. Give me a break. It's like two hundred uh, eight people. <laughs> He's like, come on, man. Maybe it's because more people are going out because they're just not scared anymore. They're going out. And they're just doing whatever they want. Sweden is a fucking mess. Hardly anyone wears a mask. Eee. Well, that from the from the get go, you guys, the Sweden was just kind of like, yeah, just fucking, yeah. Well, just I ah, will power through. It's fine. State data, trust over media data. Sorry, I feel sorry for Africa. They apparently were getting doses from India, but India got a second wave and they needed to uh, uh, keep their doses, something like that. Yeah, I have. Uh, um, I, I I live in a in a pretty heavily dominant uh, uh india um community and so like i was talking to a neighbor and she was telling me that her friend in india's father died um and he had been he was like 82 years old but he had been like super careful and super safe for like you know for the whole year and he doesn't even know how he got it because there's like no contact with anybody or anything and he got it and he fucking died and then and then another neighbor comes down and he was and and, and we were talking uh and he was like he was like yeah my wife's father died this morning I'm like what the fuck in India, in India, and it's like, what the fuck's going on? He's, he told me, he's like, yeah, man, it's like, it's crazy over there. It's fucking crazy uh, in India right now, and it's a population density, man. Like there, it's it's like there's so many people, and it's so dense. It's so fucking dense. It's crazy, just fucking crazy. I feel sorry for anybody that's dealing with this kind of stuff right now. Uh, it's it's it's. I mean, we went through here in the states, uh, uh, where you know we just had it just rampant and just going like crazy. Um, and especially in like some of the bigger cities, New York, um, like L.A., basically any big city was experiencing just like major fallout from just re retransmission rates going through the roof and all that. Um, and so, yeah, we, we've been there and it just sucks. It just sucks. So hopefully everybody gets it under uh, people get under control. The more we get vaccines, the more people get vaccines, the, the faster that retransmission rate go down, the fewer opportunities you'll have to catch it and so on and so on and so forth. So. Happy you guys are getting your your vaccines though. I am. Um, PUBG, a game we haven't talked about in a very long time. PUBG still exists, still exists, but they have a new mode that they released uh, for April Fools. For April Fools, and it's called uh, Player Player Omnoms Battlegrounds, and they they. They pitched it. They made a whole video where they pitched it as like the first, you know, chicken dinner game or whatever. Uh, and here's the gameplay here. Initially, it was only supposed to be available for like a week or something. And now they've extended it to the end of the month because people fucking love it. Shrimp, you said you just played this last night. What do, what do you think? Wait, 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 PUBG or this? 
<laughs> I haven't played it yet, but I watched this gameplay video, and I'm, it, it's like, it is, it looks fucking good. Like, you got plenty of weapons to choose from. Uh, it, it's, it looks sufficiently difficult in some, it, like, Nuclear Throne. Yes, it looks exactly like Nuclear Throne. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, bosses that come down. Let me try to fast forward here so I get some of these bosses. Um, there's a couple that kind of come down. And you got like a little health bar and all that shit. Um, you play both, looks cool. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, now apparently you play it through the the PUBG client somehow. Uh, I love when April Fool's jokes turn out to be something fun and cool that people actually want. Yeah, man, like pandas. There's a 2D PUBG like uh, <laughs> like I <hi>, okay. <laughs> The first thing PUBG does in an attorney is a meme. It turns out to be better than actual game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Too soon. <laughs> it's been like 10 years. <laughs> but no, it is. I mean, truly, though, it is pretty cool whenever something like something comes out as a joke and it works out. <laughs> People actually start loving it and start playing it. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, this is, does look actually pretty awesome. So I hope that people uh, I hope that it's something they end up just keeping. Just keep it. Just let, let people play it. It's fine. You know, or sell it five dollars on the site. I mean, Nuclear Throne is a real fun, total chaos game. Uh, just like this. Just just like this. Um, so, yeah, I would say it's probably something that you might want to check out if you're if you're interested. And so um, <laughs> Darnell was a profit for a while. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, he was. So yeah, PUBG, PUBG, it's called PUBG, P-O-B-G. So player Omnoms, Battlegrounds, the original, the original chicken dinner. You got your armor, armor war bear. <laughs> Ludic ludicrous gladiators, Omnom. Yeah. Well, there are there are uh, other games I know a lot of you guys are still playing. It was the best day to put experimental shit. Exactly, sprinkles. Sprinkles. So I've been playing a lot of, um, as you guys probably know, uh, playing a lot of uh, Outriders lately. I am uh, World Tier 15, no problem. I am um, Challenge Tier 10, working on 11 right now. And I'm, I'm fucking loving it. Um, still a super fun game. I just found this courtesy of one of you guys yesterday in our uh, uh, Bro Riders Discord channel. I just found this calculator here. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for, as somebody, as somebody who worked at Wowhead, <laughs> as somebody who, who worked there, I'm, I'm a sucker for these calculators, right? We had Destiny, we had all these games. All these games, all these calculators all over the place. So somebody built one and it's functional. You go through and say, I want this, 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 do, 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 do. Click on all the things. So you run out of points. Then you scroll down. You can see all your stats and you can see what the cooldown is on all of your abilities here. Pretty fucking cool. And then if you want to see your DPS, you just got to put in the clip side. You could say 100 by clip size. RPM is going to be. Uh, one one the damage is going to be 1000 reloads gonna be one second damage per clip a lot six thousand a second yeah if you want to set theory craft you want to sit here and have a character builder for your uh for your um for your uh, character outright his character like this is it man this is the last character the last calculator used for poe well now you could use it here it's got a pyromancer, trickster, devastator, technomancer. I mean, they're all here. And you can go calculate all this shit out and you can see exactly how it affects all of your skills. Pretty awesome. Pretty spreadsheet time. I don't need to make a spreadsheet. Somebody made this. Who made this? Uh, Fat Pickle Smith. No, no, that's original credit. Uh, who made this? Who made this? Who made this? Uh, da, 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 da. Somebody made this. I'll put the link in Discord. <laughs> well, it's a link's already in Discord. I'll put the link in chat and I'll put the link in the notes. All right? Someone made this. I made this. I made this. That's what. There you go. I'll put that right here. Boop, 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 boop. Pivot table's not required. That's right. See? Just works. Elitist jerk EJs. Yep. Well, we're not done yet. In sadder news, we're going to shift gears a little bit here, guys. In Saturn news, Yahoo Answers will be shut down forever on May 4th. It's done. It's over. I've, 
You just use this side all the time. Every time I was just like, why does it sting when I pee? <sighs> and what is that thing growing on my left testicle? <sighs> I used to go to this site and they would tell me, man, there's always someone there who asks the same question. <sighs> But now I go to Stack Overflow for all that stuff, so it's fine. It's done! It's over! Also, how is baby formed? How is baby? <laughs> oh, you gotta ask Jeeves. So yeah, it's shutting down on the 4th. I wonder what the last question is gonna be. They're not even saying the archives. Apparently, it's just, they're just gonna wipe it. It's just done. They're just gonna like archive it somewhere. Maybe one day, maybe one day they'll feed it to some AI. Some Ultron <laughs> who'll just like read through it and be like, wow, man, these humans are fucking dumb. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Alta Vista Edge is coming soon. They got Korra. <laughs> hey, we're destroying it. The oh, hey, exactly. Oh, no, my bizarre product places in bad movies. Time to find uh, the way back machine. It really is the end of an era. This is why Sky decides it needs to take over. Exactly. I missed the am I pregnant questions. There's so many. There's so many. So yeah, they actually have the notice on their site. Um, oh, it's not working for some reason. It's basically here. If you actually go to answer this right here, Yahoo Answers shut down May 4th, 2021. There will be no changes to other Yahoo properties or services or your Yahoo account. It's like, because <laughs> someone would ask, someone would ask. It's like, it's like what, 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 what about, is my Yahoo shutting down too? <laughs> But there's tons of questions here, right? What's the last thing to enter your nose by mistake? I mean, this shit is important. 21 hours ago, my pinky finger. Ah, oh, see? What if I wanted to ask that? It's crazy. The relationship advice. This is where you go to get relationship advice. Let's see. My sister-in-law eats meat, and I don't want her at my summer get-together. See? I have a crush on my husband's friend. I am a 35-year-old virgin male and I schedule an appointment with an escort. Will I find will I finally feel better about myself once I lose my V card? Favorite answer says I disagree with some of these answers. I'm 22 and I personally couldn't bear the thought of being in your position. No offense. So to cope at 19, I started seeing escorts on a regular. Just to sort of get to know, get to get to a get to get a somewhat use of sex life. Uh, you have to realize that's all it is, sex. Literally putting your pants on was take the, oh like literally putting your pants on people just get used to it and don't think about it after a while that's why people are saying you'll be highly disappointed in your first experience especially if you get nervous or hesitant in the activity for the first time especially at that age you have no idea how you'll perform or what you'll actually like and don't like in reality you'll learn that the you learned the hard way the escorts are necessary necessary in my opinion if you ever if you have, have never had sex fuck not because you're entitled to it but if but for your mental health this is why I strongly support sex workers who are passionate about it that's a favorite answer so and this is this is see this is <sighs> this shit is like gold is it okay to date a 13 year old? I'm 38. Troll go to prison. Oh, that's the answer. <laughs> Wait, what does it say? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. My daughter, age 12, lied to my Yahoo can and started ruining my reputation. I'm truly sorry. She also put her other. Oh, yeah, it's my daughter. It's my 12 year old daughter. It's what it is. So this is gone, man. This is going to be gone. So sad. What is the excess? What is the cause of excess vagina tightness and dryness? I'm pregnant and my boyfriend keeps smoking in our home. I would like a rim job for my wife. How do I break it to her? <laughs> so it says. It says, perhaps the shutdown is for the best. Considering the site appears to be overrun with far-right conspiratorial garbage, the current Yahoo Answers homepage is highlighting such introspective germ gems in its Discover section as, will America survive four years of Joe Biden and will this summer be record riots for BLM and Antifa? As well as the instant cla classic, was Stalin right about everything? This is from The Verge, by the way. So, as we've seen... There is nothing... This, this, come on, that's not what happened here. I know they gotta have a political spin, but no... The problem here is people are talking about how do I get a rim job for my wife? That's the real problem. But that's serious. That's a serious question. <laughs> that's a serious question. <sighs> I'm glad Mike went down the rabbit hole so we were all that's <laughs> all so, oh, yeah, that's in my it's in my history. Don't worry guys, it's in my history. It's fine. I can feel it. I can feel it. There's plenty of weird shit in my history. Totally fine. I got this.
And lastly, and lastly, oh, more sad news. More, more sad news. We hate to burst your bubble, <laughs> but tonight we're learning trouble is brewing around the popular dessert. KPI X5's Maria Medina is in San Jose with details on a boba shortage. <sighs> It's the chewiness of the, of the boba. Um, it's pretty satisfying to kind of munch on. It's known as pearl milk tea, bubble tea, or boba tea, a flavored drink typically what do I combined do, with man? chewy tapioca pearls. Insanely popular. It, it what really do I do? Ever since I was a little kid. But the ingredient that makes the, the drink red wildly bitch, they just popular fucking explain could it. be in trouble for just weeks two seconds to come. Ago. So a lot of this will affect not just us, but the greater boba industry. Well, it started with global pandemic, which has caused a major congestion and shortage in the supply chain. Um, boba guys oh. recently posted this. Oh, uh, it's a shortage in the supply chain of boba, no! Oh! What am I gonna do, man? <sighs> Riots. I'm gonna swim out to the boats. <laughs> I'm gonna swim out to the boats. I'll bring it in. I'll bring it to shore myself. Fuck. What do I do, man? <sighs> Rainbow jelly. That's a solution. Or cheese foam. What you guys learned about the other day. Cheese foam. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Hard to find. But really, really, what? Say what? I got like a cheese foam. What? 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 Cheese foam, man. Man, come on. Dang. Happy lemon. Happy lemon. Locations all over the Bay Area. And it's all the places, too. Happy lemon, man. This stuff is the best. Look at You get drinks and they put cheese foam on top. And they got boba too, but fuck that stuff. No, don't look at my location. I got plenty. I'm thinking it's delicious. It's delicious. It's so, so good. Get you some. Man, just look at the menu. Let's see. There's a boba tea, boba milk tea, classic milk tea, and it puts a sprinkle some cheese on it. There you go. It's not like cheese like you're thinking. It's not cheese like, uh, it's not cheese like, you know, you sprinkle on your tostada or something like that. It's not like that. Uh, <laughs> but cheese foam? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. It was weird for me too. It was weird for me too, but don't sleep on it, man. Fumunga cheese, fumunga, fumunga. These what? Who the fuck puts cheese on it? Man, I'm telling you, it works. I'm telling you, it works. Let me see. Hold on a second. Hold on a Let me see. Uh, let me see. Yahoo answer. See. Cheese foam. Uh, it's the cheese from cheese foam tea. You got any questions? Let's see. What is your favorite? Uh, oh, no, they don't. See, it's. it's <laughs> see, it's underground shit. They don't even have an answer here. Do we have an answer right here? Come on, man. Come on. You Americans are crazy. This shit. <laughs> Fine. We'll take we'll take the brunt of that. Fine. Fine. What I asked, oh, oh, oh. what is cheese foam? Cheese foam tea or something. I don't know. Uh, no, it's not. It's not here. It's not here. It's just too new. Too new. No wonder. As no wonder. Exactly. Exactly. No wonder. They're going down. You can't even ask a basic question. There it is. That's exactly what we're looking at the other day. Cheese tea could be the new bubble tea if what? If America? Oh God! Uh, if Americans could get over the name. See, we're so crazy. We can't. We can't even accept it because it's got cheese in the name of with tea. <sighs> Y'all missing out, man. Anyways, boba shortage. Terrible. The worst. <sighs> Try to keep it together. Rainbow jelly is a pretty good substitute, though. Honestly, rainbow jelly will do you just fine. Or just, like, no jelly at all. Be crazy. Be crazy. You know? Save a few calories. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony Chat. You guys are the best. Thank you for joining me on National Horny Day. You guys are so good. So good. Just the best. Just the best. Love you guys. Tickle, tickle, tickle right in the little whole hand. I'm tickle whole hand right in the little thingy right there. Cue my time. I'm going to tickle him right there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.